I want to talk to you about this um, uh, experimentation in Milano, Italy, uh, of the creation by a community uh, of uh, like um, a social local currency and uh, how we uh, have been able in uh, uh, now one year to provide a basic income self-produced uh, by the community and also um, how we are able to, to use also this uh, like um, uh, cryptocurrency in order to manage uh, the relationship in between the, the community. So uh, this project um, is um, started in, uh, in this um, uh, Macau that is uh, like uh, an art center uh, self-managed by an open uh, assembly based on the consensus method and uh, so on. And uh, it's one of the places uh, we occupy uh, in the 2012 uh, in the big uh, Italian uh, uh, cultural movement uh, that was also behind um, in Rome, Teatro Valle, or in Naples, uh, as somebody mentioned before, uh, the Ecstasy um, Philangeri and then Massa uh, Critica and uh, so on. And um, the, the common coin uh, cryptocurrency is uh, um, developed by uh, Macau and Freecoin, uh, Dine.org, uh, and it was a part of uh, a project called Descent, that was a European survey on uh, all the cryptocurrency around Europe. And um, so, Basically, this is the space, and this is more or less uh, uh, part of the community. And how we uh, conceived or designed uh, the cryptocurrency. Basically, the organization pay all the work in terms of maintenance, management, activism, participation to the assembly, so all the social cooperation in the organization in common coin, so in this currency. The members are able to also exchange the uh, common coin inside the organization, and they are able also to pay goods and services uh, uh, to shop, because the organization ex ex exchange uh, like uh, as a shield euro and uh, the local currency for uh, the external network. Apart from uh, this scheme, we are providing a monthly basic income to all the members with active wallet in common coin. So basically the organization consider that is not paying any more work, wages for the, for the, for the production. So we have a saving of euro because we have income as an organization but we are not paying the work. So we have a, f a saving that we consider the 20% of the general income of the organization. We create a fund and we spread this fund in order to uh, provide a basic income for all the, the members. So basically the amount of the monthly basic income depends on how many participants and how much is the general income monthly of the organization. And more or less, uh, we are in a fork in between 300 to 500 euro per month to 25 to 65 person. So in this, in this way, we are providing uh, like uh, for average 400 euro as a basic income for 50 people. What? So, um, yeah, basically, um, the more you are participating in the governance, because we pay also the particip 
participation to the assemblies, uh, activism, uh, and whatever. Um, in the maintenance and the management of the organization, the more you are part of the production um, and, and, uh, and the, the common value that the organization is, uh, is dealing with. So what's the effect in the community? That more or less, um, nobody is looking for profit, not too much, because uh, having paid uh, by the basic income, uh, there's not so much uh, conveniences uh, in, uh, in order to, to have too much profit. And usually it's better to look for a collaboration uh, uh, than uh, to be competitive. Uh, so if I stay too much in this uh, uh, coffee bar uh, in order to have more wage, uh, mm, there's no uh, convenience, no? So it's better to look for her, maybe that can substitute me uh, tomorrow and whatever. Um, and then also decrease the, the division of labor because uh, we, are, we started to have assemblies uh, with a lot of discussion that why I am a social manager uh, uh, and you are a cleaner, uh, why, why I gain exactly as you gain in this, uh, in this organization, but I have to do dirty job, so we can maybe uh, uh, deal with it, that. And so uh, we had a lot of discussion for the first time in the assembly in order to understand uh, what's your role in the social uh, body in the collective production and how we can maybe discuss about that, no? Um, and the main topic we discovered in this year is how to go beyond this ethic of work, no? This um, idea to, to be waged on time spending, uh, no? how we can shift uh, really our um, imagination of uh, a social body as a producer of, uh, uh, a social pro uh, of a social production that is not based on my capability to be paid for my skill. No? It's a, a different kind of imagination. And then there is the relationship in between technology and human relationship, the social body. Because we worked with, of course, blockchain, cryptocurrency, protocols, machine, but there is like, um, uh, like a, a friction in between this uh, technological side and the social body that is made by negotiation, conflict, uh, desire, capability to co-design, uh, and uh, this process of imagination. No? And uh, there is uh, a, lot, a lot of time like a friction in between these two spheres. And in a way, discussing about the effect, the effect of uh, a protocol in a physical space uh, is a way to create like uh, a feedback about uh, the human perception of the machine. So in a way, we, uh, um, we, we, we have been in a process and we are in a process in which uh, we can uh, um, uh, transform the machine more like us, but also we can understand how to become a machine as a social body, no? Because an organization, when you, uh, when you, when you decide to have uh, like um, a protocol, uh, um, an algorithm behind your uh, your your contracts, uh, you are a machine, no? So this is uh, one of the main issues also uh, in a very different scales, and this local scale. Uh, a scale for me is very interesting in, in order to understand this. Um, that 
uh, also uh, between uh, the users and Facebook, uh, and Facebook, for example, how we are passive to to this uh, um, algorithm uh, or uh, mechanical approaches, uh, uh, very abstract, uh, um, and how we can we can change the machine with uh, the feedback, with a discussion, no? So, in one year, we changed the cryptocurrency protocol. We changed the, the organization uh, uh, and the schemes, no? In uh, a very physical meeting, uh, weekly, discussing uh, um, about this organization. Uh, and so there is like a spiral loop that is also a new ritual in a way uh, in order to connect human feedback and design. This space for me today here is the most important point. Second chapter of my intervention. I want to talk to you how to connect how to have a vision to connect this local production of value and an international scene or a global scene. We created this summer with FairCOP, also mentioned before by Michelle, um, and uh, also Dean and Dr.org as well, a bank. Um, and uh, we call it Bank of the Common. Basically, is a cooperative. And uh, the aim of this bank is to have, for the first time, as a cooperative bank, a multi-currency wallet. So every member can have a wallet, an account, with multi-currency. And basically, we provide a bridge with an ethical bank that has bank license in order to provide a bank account in euro with SEPA, IBAN, and whatever for the members. But we improve the exchange in between the members by a solidarity cryptocurrency that for us is this fair coin fair coin and fair cop network. So basically the members can have cop shares, so the property of the bank, and deposits, so they own. This is uh, the layout right now of the bank or the account. You have uh, uh, fair coin, uh, euro, US dollars, uh, bitcoin, um, uh, and whatever. In the future, my idea is also to connect uh, like common coin, uh, such a local, local currency to this environment so that you can be part of uh, um, production of value locally, maybe also discussing uh, the policies uh, and uh, in a participatory process uh, uh, of uh, um, your economy. And in the same time, have um, a bridge with a fair coin, a solidarity network with a cryptocurrency based not on the Bitcoin protocol or proof of work, uh, but um, in, a, in a more sustainable um, and um, um, cooperative uh, uh, orientation. And uh, as well, let's say what we can consider the bad coin, Euro, US, uh, Bitcoin, in order to understand how the people can stay in the normal life uh, or in, in the system, uh, because they had to, in a way, but they have like a, a room, a, a, an infrastructure, in order to, to, to drag as much as possible the part of their economical life in uh, an alternative structure. Basically, this is the end. Thank you very much. Questions?
This is the first one. Where it was a drawing. Um, yes, that one. Thank you. And can you maybe share a bit how you started? Because I, I don't get this yet. <laughs> So basically, we decided to pay in an organization, like we are an organization. What do you produce for what? Ah, uh, Macau is like an assembly of uh, art producers, cultural producers, quite uh, cross-sectoral. So from design to visual art to electronic music uh, to uh, uh, university researchers uh, or whatever. And um, we have also a space to manage, like a squat, basically. Uh, and um, so there's a community of 100 people that are working for, for the building, but also for their own project. And um, all this work is paid by a cryptocurrency self-manage. Um, and this is this arrow. The members use this cryptocurrency also in between them in order to, to pay collaboration uh, and uh, whatever. We, as organization, provide monthly uh, the power for common coin to buy also in the system. So, for example, uh, uh, now is the end of the month. We say to the community, you can buy with common coin till 3,000 euro to the system. They do the order and the organization buy in euro for them or like a collective order, a gas in Italy, uh, we can buy a collective um, um, uh, um, poor case from the farmers as the organization in euro, because they don't ac accept common coin. But in the organization, these um, goods are, um, uh, are um, uh, are, by, uh, are bought by the people with common coin. You get it? And so this is. Yeah? So where does the euros come from in the organization? In the organization, come from um, uh, events, uh, co production of, of work, uh, donation, and whatever. More or less, uh, yeah, the 20%. Uh, I said, uh, because this is uh, the basic income uh, side, because the organization doesn't pay any, any, any wage, we have a saving of euro, and we provide uh, with 20% of the general income uh, to the members uh, a basic income. More or less, uh, the 20% of this organization, but I don't know, but this organization, the 20% monthly means uh, 10, 10K, 10,000 10, euro. Yeah. So if I understand correctly, um, the organization has to, to find means to get the money and is not supported by any government or? No. No, no but the, the organization is an open assembly. Ah. So it is like the sum, the sum of uh, all uh, the projects that want to step in. So it, it, it is like a collector also, no? It's not, it's not like a private property. It's an open assembly. So. Uh, all uh, the projects that want to step in start to be part of this uh, uh, production of value. Okay? 
Just a simple question. How is money created in your system? How? How is money, the, the, the cryptocurrency, how is it created? Uh, but basically, in terms of uh, technology, you can create a, a cryptocurrency also by paper or by a DB, a database, uh, uh, locally. In the case of common coin, uh, is a side chain of the blockchain of uh, uh, fair coin. Question mark on <laughs> all, all of you. But if uh, somebody is in, uh, this is a side chain of the blockchain of fair coin. So um, what makes it different from, for example, a company that provides uh, services. Uh, sorry, I. So um, you call it the organization right now, but basically uh, you deliver services to um, external um, organizations or companies. What makes it different from a company that's providing services? Um, but uh, I miss um, the part of uh, the shape of the Macau organization. I was very quickly mentioning that it's an open assembly. Uh, but basically, it's an open assembly composed by project. And uh, we have a lot of uh, extra funds in order to have a mutual aid system in between all the organizations are in. So there is a, a share of means of production. There is uh, uh, the, um, uh, the, the principle that uh, the projects inside that are losses are covered by the projects that are more successful. And um, um, so basically, uh, we have audience, normal audience. Uh, we are also working with institution, sometimes market, but in a political oriented, also situationistic sometimes. Uh, uh, way. For example, we worked with the Fashion Week in Milano, very famous, in order to provide money for the fighters in, Raj in, um, in Rojava uh, against the Erdogan dictatorship uh, using the Fashion Week as a, uh, also an action uh, uh, against Erdogan, and also we add money from them. Uh, so we try to do this uh, kind of, when there is really the market, we try to, to uh, embody how we deal with the market in a campaign or in a political action uh, or more on the global. Uh, uh. Otherwise, uh, basically, the main uh, economy is based on uh, the audience, uh, that that comes in, uh, donation, uh, and uh, institutional relationship uh, with uh, projects, uh, with a university or public money or whatever. Um, I don't know if I answered you, but more or less, uh, uh, if uh, it's really the bad market, uh, it's a political action. Uh, basically, is the support of the people, the, econo the, 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 the economical income, and uh, if uh, the people invest in this organization, is because it is uh, shaped uh, as a solidarity and mutual aid structure. Maybe like that is more clear. Thank you very much, Emanuele.